to beat Mega Med Sheripov extended his winning streak to 14 fights on Saturday when he defeated Calvin Qatar in the UFC on ESPN Plus 21 headliner in Moscow. A solid performance from Zabit in this fight. Of course, he fades a little bit late towards the end of the third round, but otherwise was doing his thing over the course of 15 minutes. Takes the fight 29-28 on all scorecards. I think that was the right call by the judges there, and now he is 6-0 and inside the octagon and continuing to make his way as a featherweight contender in a very deep weight class with a lot of interesting names in it right now. He joins the queue of potential guys who could fight for the title sooner than later. I don't think he's getting it right after this of course in his post fight he called out the winner of Max Holloway versus Alex Volkanovsky who will fight next month at UFC 245 for Holloway's belt I think he could use one more win before getting there and I think the fight that needs to be made is against Yair Rodriguez that is a matchup people have been wanting to see for quite a while it's been booked before it's been close to being booked again and has never materialized at this point there's a good storyline between these two of course at one point, Rodriguez was let go from his UFC contract because of his apparent unwillingness to take a fight against Zabit. Zabit has been calling him out time and time again. He didn't this time around, but I think the matchup makes a lot of sense. Of course, Rodriguez coming off a nice win of his own against Jeremy Stevens not too long ago in Boston. Both of their recent wins got fight of the night honors on their respective cards. I think that is the matchup to make. You do Zabit versus Rodriguez at this point and really see who breaks through as that next real contender at 145 pounds.